we're gonna move on because we are going to Rhode Island title says Rhode Island woman sentenced for killing boyfriend's grandmother and pawning her belongings for drugs true crime daily published February 3rd 2024 and this is in Bristol and it says a judge sentenced a 28 year old woman to over three decades in prison for, suffoc for suffocating her boyfriend's grandmother and stealing her personal belongings which uh, she sold for drug money. The Rhode Island Attorney General's office announced Thursday, February 1st, that Selena Martinez was ordered to spend 60 years behind bars for killing 62-year-old Eldora Gustafson in 2017, though she will only be incarcerated for 35. Martinez pleaded guilty on January 19th to one count of second-degree murder, one count of conspiracy to commit murder, four counts of receiving stolen goods less than less than of $1,500, one count of forgery, and one count of obtaining property under false pretenses less than $1,500. Martinez's boyfriend, Raymond Paiva IV, was sentenced in October to 60 years in prison with 20 years suspended after he pleaded guilty to the same charges, except he had one more count of forgery. According to the, to the Attorney General's office, on February 10th, 2017, Martinez had used heroin and wanted money for more drugs. She and Paiva were at Gustafson's house and, at 3.15 p.m., Gustafson's husband left for work. Martinez reportedly attacked Gustafson to get access to her car keys. The statement says Martinez restrained the victim while she and Paiva attacked her with a pillow and covered her head with a trash bag with the drawstring drawn tightly around her neck. Martinez stole Gustafson's checkbook, rings, jewelry, and money, then drove off in her car. Martinez reportedly sold Gustafson's belongings at a pawn shop at approximately 7 p.m. and purchased heroin nearby. Providence police caught Martinez and arrested her. Martinez's DNA was reportedly found on the trash bag used to suffocate Gustafson. Attorney General Peter Nerona said, Tragedies like these are particularly tough to comprehend. The defendant is a deeply troubled woman who senselessly murdered and robbed her boyfriend's grandmother to obtain money to buy drugs, and the victim's family is left to pick up the pieces. He said he hopes Martinez gets the help she needs in prison and that it can provide some relief to Gustafson's family. I feel like we read an unreleased plot of Requiem for a Dream. Like, this is like a deleted scene that didn't make it because it was, it was too too harsh for viewers to see in Requiem for a Dream if you haven't seen that movie um, don't I, I mean it's it's a pretty hard hitting movie it's about addiction different types of addiction and uh, yeah I don't know this 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 could have easily been part of the plot of the movie and would have fit perfectly commit a huge crime for drugs that's basically what some of the movie uh, uh, talks about and some of the things that happen in the movie. So, um, yeah. Pretty old movie. Early 2000s. Starring Jared Leto. Uh, Marlon Wayans. I thought he did a great job. It was the first time I ever actually saw him doing a, a drama like that and I was pretty impressed. Pretty impressed. Um, who, who's the other? Uh, it's uh, Jennifer Connelly. Is in that movie, uh, Charlie's mom as well. Oh, I forgot her name. Excellent actress. Uh, Ellen Bernstein. Is it Ellen Bernstein? Yeah, I know the last last name is Bernstein. May may not be Ellen, but yes. Excellent actress. Highly recommend the movie if you can kind of. Uh, take those hard hitting hard to watch you know uncomfortable movies and again this has to do with addiction there's some a couple parts of the movie that go pretty damn crazy but it's that's reality that's that's how uh life works uh again this could have been part of the plot of the movie uh she killed someone like they killed the person to to rob them with a bag around their neck with a with a bag over their head with the drawstrings tight around their neck wow 
for drug money. They destroyed someone and destroyed their family for, what is it, like an hour or two of, of a rush? Crazy. Uh, this one has no video attached to it, so we will move on to the next case. Very sad.